Krishna, 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 Hare, Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare, Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Hare, Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Hare, Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare, Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare. If we don't talk about the moon is blue, I love you too. It's, it's things relating to higher forms of consciousness, mantras which we use, which are word combinations, which we get the audience to participate in and speak back to us. And this elevates consciousness. And what we try to do is to actually raise up the vibrations of the audience and ourselves to a more sort of God-intoxicated state. The group in spirit's very communal. We don't all live in the same house, though we see each other every day for long hours of that day. We spend a lot of time with each other. Our religious beliefs are different. We follow different paths, though our goal is exactly the same. Some of the group look to Swami G as their guru or spiritual teacher. He gave them their Indian names. He helps them in other ways too, like sorting out personal problems that any of the group members might have. Uh, he has visiting hours, which are strictly kept. We can go to see him at certain hours of the afternoon and the evenings. Other times he'll come and visit us socially, or as tonight he'll come round, we're gonna have what they call a kirtan, which is where the, the devotees, which are about 20, 25 in number, will get together, sit round, read from the scriptures, meditate communally, let Swamiji discourse and talk about religious things, and then afterwards share in what they call prasad, which is a food that's been dedicated, and we all sit round and eat and then everybody goes home and meditates. This is a recording session, but like a kirtan, the devotees and Swami turn up to join in the Indian chants. It becomes a group celebration. Why are so many young people turning towards Eastern religion? Well, it's been proven in the past, I suppose, and most people like that, feeling that philosophy and enlightenment and all those things that people are interested in have like been set in the East and been tried for thousands of years very successfully. And obviously the Western way of life being so material and all the other things that go with it, it's very difficult for them over here. So they turn towards that things are changing and people aren't satisfied anymore with the old routine and doing what they were told to do and maybe going out and getting a job and doing that exactly what they've been told to do. People have now got more time to make a choice and like it's, they should start seriously considering why they are on this planet Earth and what are they going to do with the time while they're here. It's a good question to ask oneself and like everybody's going to have a different answer to that.